well, good morning, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls. Welcome to the 35th annual Teddy Bear Parade. We are smack dab in the middle of Main Street, Gresham, Oregon, USA. And we've got about 2,000 folks that are going to be marching by you today with about 90 or so participants. And we're going to get this thing started. And with me today, Carol, what a great day, huh? Well, it's wonderful. And Greg, thank you for helping us again this year. We really value your contribution. It wouldn't happen without you helping us. And uh, so we're really pleased to present this on such a wonder. It's a little overcast, but it's not cold. And um, this makes it really, really work for all of the participants today because it's, they're not going to get too hot and they're not going to be cold. Absolutely. And it's not windy and they're not going to get wet. So it's a perfect day for a parade. Wonderful day for a parade. And again, we want to thank our sponsors and our business sponsorships. Uh, we'll be naming those throughout the, uh, the parade and the telecast. I want to thank East Metro Community Media, of course, for Absolutely. what they're doing and providing to you at home. So sit back, relax, and enjoy the parade. And we're going to get things started, of course. What better way to start than police escort? How about that? At Gresham's finest. Yes. Well, yeah. Some of well, Gresham's finest. The <laughs> firefighters right up there with They're them. right up there with them. Absolutely, give them that. absolutely right. And, you know, you can see her right there in between the motorcycles, but on that bicycle is our very own police chief, Robin Sells. Wonderful. Personal friend of mine. She is wonderful. It looks like we've got Multnomah County Sheriff, and we also have Gresham PD, I believe, on the bike. Yes. They look great. And Chief Sells. Yeah. Big round of applause. They do wonderful work. We really yes. appreciate our law enforcement in this town. I'm very happy thank to you. have them. And yep. Thank you for your service Good and job. be safe. Chief Shells, how are you? Uh, no, thank you, Chief. <laughs> I've got plenty on my, on my desk. Have a great day. And these are, let's welcome the annual Teddy Bear Parade, Seroptimus International Aggression, which we're proud to put it on. And then we have Weston, Buick, Kia, GMC, and they, like I said earlier, they have been so great and always giving us, loaning us the cars and uh, contributing to our fundraiser now that we do. Absolutely. Well, and you got to appreciate Weston's and all that they do. They do an amazing oh. work. And I believe behind the wheel of this 54 Chevy fire truck, is uh, another than Brad Rowe. I'm guessing yes. uh, that's Brad. Now, Weston's himself, 43-year-old company. They think local. They buy local. They've got 125 employees. They do an incredible job. Now, Brad's going to make it difficult for us to be able to talk about him. Over 30 years of service, that guy right there behind the wheel, right there with Weston. Hi. We appreciate Hi. Brad. We appreciate the Weston family and the 125 employees. They support the scouts heavily as well. So great to see you, and it, thanks for being here. Beautiful fire truck. It sure is, isn't it? What would you say that age is of that of That's that a truck? 1954. Oh, okay. 1954. Great. So just a few years older, about 10 years older than Brad himself, probably. <laughs> oh, so. Now, this is a 57. Oh, my. Yeah. That's beautiful. I That's love it. That's a beautiful GMC pickup, and that is, that is their personal rig as well. The Westons do the amazing Westons, work, and do. thank you very much. Our presenting sponsor today, Weston Buick, Buick, Kia, and GMC, and they're also expanding into Nissan. Did you read that? Yes, That's yes, exciting. yes. That's exciting. Well, they've got exciting. that whole area up there that they, uh, you know, have used now for retail and servicing of cars, and it's in a convenient corner, which is so nice. Sure. So, oh, this is another new GMC. Wow, they they expend quite a bit. They've uh, they've got a little gap that we need to fill here. Well, very good. That's a beautiful truck. It's all labeled up and that's pretty. It's it's hard to believe, but then again, 125 employees with them. So, fishweston.com, wow. nixonsmarine.com, <laughs> Weston GMC. I've seen that truck all over town. This that's is as close beautiful. as I've been able to be to it. That is beautiful. I love that blue. That is really pretty. Yeah. And here we have some... some um, YMCA Camp Collins. Yes. You yes. bet. They have for there summer camp programs for grades 1 through 12, teen leadership programs, family camp and outdoor education programs too. Thanks to the YMCA, each summer they serve over 1,850 campers through day and overnight camps. Scholarships available for about 20% of their, their campers, which is wonderful. Oh, and absolutely. they also offer facility rentals, retreats, conferences, and outdoor school. 92 years, YMCA Camp Collins has been changing lives one camper at a time. And I love going out there. That is a beautiful campus out there. It is amazing. Yeah. Oh, and here we go, Mount Hood Community College. And this is, oh, Diane McKeel. And I think her husband's right behind us back here. 
and they are also one of our sponsors for our career sponsors and Mount Hood ha has been a career sponsor for over three years. Their donation serves as a funding source for our Dream It, Be It career. You will also find highly skilled faculty members at Mount Hood providing you the best in education, which I know for sure. They have over 120 professional and technical programs. Oh my, this is really, that's nice, isn't it? Yeah, that's wonderful. There's, our teddy, there's they, our teddy bear. And they've got the saint right there, very yeah. good. And here's a transition program, which is so important to the college. That is a wonderful nice. program, and you're it meeting sure a lot is. of folks through that program, too. Oh, yes. Ms. Rockness are recognizing we do. some of those We recognize uh, some of those through our scholarships that we give away. Yeah. Because, you know, sometimes they need just that little nudge to get over the hoop to be able to go and... Um, on further their education. So here's the Springwater Trail High School's World Music Program. It uh, uses djembe, Western African drums, a variety of marimbas and other instruments. This magnet school has nearly 200 students. It's the third public high school in Gresham Barlow School District. Offers a very strong sense of community, a focus on authentic learning out in the real world and middle college program with three dual credit college classes in Mountain Community College. That's great. That is great. So now next we have the East Side Timbers. And and Eastside Timbers is a soccer orga organization that offers teams and leagues at every level. Their programs include recreational youth, academy, competitive camps, clinics, and top soccer. They currently support a membership of 2,000 plus youth players. Hi, Sue. There's Sue, and I'm, I'm assuming oh, Amy's Sue. around here, too. Wonderful. I didn't see Sue there. And behind Good. them is the Riverview Community Bank. They're one of our wonderful sponsors. They're, again, our teddy bear sponsor, founded on a desire to see success in community. Riverview has been providing sound financial support for over 90 years. Very fortunate to have them as a partner in our community. Thanks, Riverview. Great to see you again. Love the bear face. And we have an independent uh, <laughs> entry here, yeah. which is great. Catch Look at the energy. <laughs> yeah, the energy. Mom's got to keep up with her. That is great. Yep. Well, you know, we, we have several sponsors, and, and we'll be mentioning them throughout the deal, but, but I do want to say uh, Weston Buick, Kia, GMC, Mountain Community College, Riverview right. Community Bank, All About Automotive. You'll right. hear from them soon. Yes. Gresham Animal Hospital. And they're uh, so good. Yes, Powell Valley Assisted Living and right. Memory Care, Pediatric Therapy Services. But let's talk about Seroptimus. All and, right. And what you're doing as the Seroptimus. You're a very powerful group and very supportive of, of these young women and all women. Uh, right. So let's talk a little bit about what you So do. we're an organization, like I said, that's based throughout the entire world. And our vision is for women and girls that they have the resources and the opportunities to reach their full, pot full potential and live their dreams. And like I said, we give the, the scholarships away because, so that they can reach their, their dreams and move on. And we're probably in the Portland area, we probably have about 10 different, organ 10 different clubs. There we go. We That's gotta go great. This. Well, we're going to go to the Have Fun, Make Friends, Play Ball, Gresham Barlow Youth Baseball and Softball. So they provide programs for kids age 4 through 18. They're all about having fun, making friends, and of course, playing ball. In 2018, there were 500 plus kids, 125 volunteer coaches, including Justin Foreman, and more than 40 teams participating in the league. Learn more at Gresham Barlow Youth you Baseball Softball, gpybs.org. Big contingency. That is. And these kids, uh, they've achieved okay. greatness too. They, they yeah. Have, I, I catch them on Facebook quite a bit. And uh, Cassandra Garber's their president. So keep up the great work. Wonderful. So next we have coming up Prestige Post Ac Acu Acute, not accurate, Acute <laughs> and Rehab Center. And they, are, uh, they personally touch the lives every day of people that need help. And they provide long-term care as well as rehab for uh, anybody who goes there. They're in this new building over here, which is so very, very nice. Their entry today includes the family, children, and geriatric residents of the facility. More residents are watching the parade from the corner of Hood and Fifth. And Zoe Clay and Tina Turner are involved in this. Isn't this wonderful? That's wonderful. Hi. Hi uh Got a lot of wheels rolling on the road, but the wheels on that Trans Am, that reminds me of Smokey and the Bandit. And, uh, of course, Burt Reynolds has passed, but yes. what a great car that, that was. Yeah, that was. And what yeah. a great group. Yes. Prestige Post Acute and Rehab Center in Gresham. Good for them. Great to have you out here, and thank you so much for being part of the parade. Amen. See, it doesn't make any difference what age you are. You can be in our parade, which is great. Now, Carol, you had mentioned, as, as we're continuing to see uh, this wonderful group, you had mentioned that uh, 
there's the awards and, and the, the Live a Dream. Yes, and yes. I was invited to attend that banquet. Last, yes. And how can folks uh, help fund that, the awards for women? There's, there's a way they can, right? Okay, Through. so there we have a website, and it's Seroptimus International of Gresham.org, and you can go on that. We uh, meet at the Elks every Thursday from 12 to 1, and we, if anyone's interested in joining us as a, our organization, we'd welcome them to come because the more people you have, the more that you can do. Yeah. And um, I've, been, I've been involved for 40 years in Sir Optimist, and it's been one of the nicest things that's happened to me in my lifetime because I've not only been able to help the community and help people through our scholarships, but made a lot of friendships. And then we get to do this every year, which is just so special. Yes, it Hi. is wonderful. And I've been involved with Sir Optimus for quite some time, too, yes, because I have. first met you when you made a generous donation to the fire department over a $25,000 piece of equipment, which was groundbreaking back in the day. And I it's remember just that. I had yes. forgotten that. Yeah. We had a lot of fun with that. In fact, we even did a little rendition of YMCA with some personal friends. So. Oh, did you? Yeah. Really? <laughs> Prestige Post, Acute and Rehab Center, thanks for participating. Wonderful. And now we've got Gresham Animal Hospital. They're another one of our sponsors. They return again as the Animal Advocate Sponsor. It's in its 75th year supporting the bond between pets and their families. The oldest veterinary hospital on the east side. Go see them, and they will pet your pet. There's Dr. Chris There's right Dr. there. Chris. And Dr. Chris. Zoe says hi, and so does Chanel. You take great yeah. care of our pets. We love you, Doc. Boy, those Thanks are big teddy bears. Look at them. He's on call, actually, this morning. Is he really? Yeah, and so we actually put him up towards the front. Wonderful. So that if any, any little pet needs taken care of, he can be he can be out of here. He and is a great heart and mind for, for pets. Absolutely. And he's growing like by leaps and bounds. So and here's the equestrian trails from Oregon. Oregon Equestrian Trails, nonprofit formed in 1970. Built and maintain horse camps and trails in Oregon. They promote education of equestrians and the use of leave no trace outdoor ethics, campground etiquette and trial etiquette. Trail etiquette. The organization links riders together by relating News that impacts all Oregon Equestrian Trail users. Wow. Save our wild burrows. Wildburrowproject.org. How cool wow, is that? That's I love cool. the horses. I love yeah, the little Yeah, that news. is cool. And uh, leave no trace behind, I guess, is <laughs> why we have wagons with this group. Yes, yes. Well, uh, everybody likes to see horses and animals in a parade. And yes, so they this do. Is, good morning. She matches her boots, match the horse. The That's whole thing, yeah. Very nice. Oh my goodness. Oh, oh, a little late. Oh, he's going to catch up. That oh, how excited. sweet. That is he's really sweet. He's got painted sweet. toenails. And pink tennis shoes. Yeah, is that what it was? The yeah, tennis little, shoes? Little oh, front oh, how, tennis shoes. How sweet. Wow. Hey, we're going to Blue Group now, Pediatric yeah. Therapy Services. Hi. They provide occupational speech therapy for children and adults. Clinics locally owned and operated. Look for their new building next to their current one on Hood and Third. They're going to be due to open summer of 2019. Absolutely. This is Oregon Aquatic and Rehab Center. And the therapy. We, have a, we ha also have art in front of their building out there, yeah. over there on Hood, which is so nice. That's a great Boy, float. Boy, that is a great Boy, float, Boy, they did a wonderful it? job on that. Well done. Pediatric therapy services. Very cool. How neat is that? I just love seeing the kids come out and the excitement mm -hmm, mm -hmm. and uh, adults really getting into it, creating themes. It's just kind of fun. So, so last night while I was going home, uh, down by the Swift on Division, they were putting a, a float together. And I thought, you know, it's kind of neat to watch somebody get all excited about this. Yes. So here we have... Um, Multnomah County Commissioner Lori Stegman. Lori Stegman. And Lori Stegman represents East County on the Multnomah County Board of Commissioners. The county, the county operates a local libraries, school-based health centers, the Sun Community Schools and Vital Safety Net services for our community. Lori is a strong advocate for East County, and I know that for sure, focused on housing, jobs, and public safety. Yes. And she is in, what, her second term, I believe now, isn't she? It may be. Uh, yep, yeah. she was part of the Garrison Council. And yeah. I get yeah. the two confused sometimes, but she's yeah. done wonderful work in the community. Yes, she has. How about wonderful work at the Saturday Market at Mountain Community College? Oh, I love it. Oh, my gosh. So they provide a family-oriented, pet-friendly venue. They have local farmers, crafters, artisans, and vendors. Uh, weekly music, kids' book exchange, and special day for Mother's Day. Celebrations complete the market. Vicki Morrison, keep up the great work. Gresham Saturday Market at Mount Hood Community College. So next we have the U.S. Taekwondo, and they have been in Gresham Martial Arts School for 30 years. Their martial arts uh, provide the artists provide themselves on being 
pride themselves on being leaders in the community through volunteering for local parks and many nonprofits. They are accepting new students, and if the teddy bear parade is mentioned, $20 will be donated. So if you want to join them, mention the teddy bear parade, and they will give $20 to Sir Optimus to help us fund another scholarship. Daniel Tilly and Samuel Leader are walking in it today. Wonderful. And they teach kids about discipline as well, so wonderful. Great to see you. We had to stop for a photo op. It's not really a selfie, but it's our <laughs> great friend, so we'll do that for her. For Metro East, we will do anything. <laughs> U.S. World Class Taekwondo, keep up the great work. I see uh, Poe out there, so Kung Fu Panda's with you. Only fitting he would be in your group today. Good um, for you. My goodness, this looks like another big group. It's going to be 75 people. Oh, wow. It's Gribbles Preschool. is a hands-on learning experience for children age 3 to 5. Please visit www.scribblesschool.com uh, for information. Go yellow. That's and wonderful. And Jill Russell, I think, yep. organized this group. 75 people, that's 75 great to see. 75 people. Look at this. This is marvelous. They always show up, you know, and they've yep. got the bright yellow, so you see them a mile away. Wait, that's nice. Good for them. Look at all the little ones. That is so sweet. There Good go. morning, Scribbles. What an appropriate name. Yeah, that's wonderful. Wave as you go by the uh, cameras. Yep. <laughs> That camera right there is on right now. They're showing you, sir. Enjoy your day. <laughs> All right. Hey, there's Corey. How are you, Corey? Jumping with scribbles. Good for you. Outstanding. So. And East Orient Elementary School, so that's a K-5 through school. They serve students from Clackamas, Multnomah Counties. Committed to providing a world-class education, the school strives to enrich students' lives while also preparing them for college and or careers. These kids know how to catch the camera. They just stopped, stopped right there. Right there that is awesome. Yeah. Great. Well, wonderful to see East, East Orient Elementary out. And, folks, it's an amazing school. Uh, they do it amazing is. work. It's such a great community. Smaller classroom sizes, uh, really a, a great. Do fundraisers throughout the year. Got the eagle out today, looking good. That's wonderful. So this is north. It's, oh, this is still, I think, part of. Well, I think this would still be part of East Orient. It is. It yeah, is. they're the uh -huh. Eagle Pride, and uh, they're Dave Person, so I definitely know uh, now, yes. You know. <laughs> Isn't that a great old rig, too? We like that rig. So what year would this be? You know, I, I need to know that, but I want to say it's, it's a, I think, 48, but I'm not exactly wow. certain. Wow, wow. So next we have the North Gresham Elementary School, and they have 150 <laughs> participants today. North Gresham is a K-5 school serving 550 students. Construction is underway for a new building to welcome students and families. In 2019, we appreciate the community support for our school, Go North Stars. Michelle Carter and Tracy Klinger is, Tracy Klinger is the principal. 150 trikes, bikes, and wagons. And walkers. I love it. Yeah, they look great. The stars, and I, I love the mascot. They've got a, did you notice the star with yeah. the big gloves? And, yes. Yeah, having oh, a blast. Yeah. Yeah, Very yes, good. you are. You Wave. are on TV and Wave. you're wearing your helmet, which is always a good thing. Wonderful. North Gresham Stars. Well, they're rounding out the group. Yeah. Great work. Well, sometimes we our legs aren't long enough to take the big steps, so we just take, have to go a little bit slower. <laughs> yeah. So unity and diversity and their flowers of one garden. This is the Baha'i Faith, right? So Baha'i Faith of Gresham, they are committed to community building activities of all kinds. Host a monthly peace vigil at Gresham Library to promote tolerance and understanding amongst our diverse neighbors. The Baha'is have participated in the Teddy Bear Parade for over 20 years. Thank you for that. Yeah, and thank great you. to see you this morning. Sarah Eckstein, thanks for putting that together. And once again, the Baha'i Faith, thanks for coming on out and uh, being part of our Teddy Bear Parade. So there's one of our, our uh, Sir Optimus Rene yes. on the board. <clears throat> so now we have the next one, which is KMO, which is Kohler Myers O'Halloran, and they are our green sponsors. And KMO is sharing green sponsorship with Aggression Sir Optimus members this year. KMO is East County's full service real estate company serving Gresham. Portland and surrounding areas. Sir Optimus members generously give their personal time to support the mission of empowering women and girls. They also financially support the parade 
to fully demonstrate the commitment to the community. And we do, we work months on this. We probably work a good six months on this parade to make sure that everything falls into place. Sure. And uh, unless you've worked a parade, you don't realize how much goes into making one work. Right. So and Lynchwood Christian Church. And they Hi. are a neighborhood church with passion for serving their community. It's a welcoming and friendly <laughs> church seeking new ways to serve and spread God's love to all people. Look at that dog. Just looks friendly. Yeah, <laughs> very nice. Uh, Pastor Andrew Guthrie, Lynchwood Christian Church. Right, now here's Powell Valley Panthers making it on down the street. Uh, they They're support moving. Student, yeah. staff, and families. They're the PTC, the Parent Teacher Club of Powell Valley. Great to have them out here, and thanks for being involved. They support the school by raising money for school supplies, classroom technology, and school field trips. They also organize fun and affordable events for local communities like their Christmas craft fair and spring carnival. And Good they have, what, 25 to 30 people. So they're kind of taking up a little bit of, of area because some of their little legs don't go as fast this morning. But, but as we look at Powell Valley Parent Teacher Club, we should mention these PTC groups are out there oh. in the schools. And thank goodness for them because it's not like when I was in school. Field trips are now supported through fundraisers. Yes, they Your are. Your transportation is very limited in where you That's can right. go and, where you, and opportunities you get to have as students. If your parents don't get involved, if there's not a PTC, the likelihood of you getting to get outside the school for any more uh, exposures yeah. is really it's pretty little. Really slim. Yeah, yeah. So yeah. it's great that they're involved, and this is a great representation of the PTC. So thanks for the parents to get involved in their school and provide these opportunities for their kids, their classrooms, and of course, technology for the school themselves. Well, and especially in today's society, when there are so many working parents yes. that only have so much time to give. So we really appreciate the time <laughs> that they do give. Look at the bear working yeah, the crowd out he here. Is. Yeah, look, look at, at that, that bear working oh. the crowd. Oh, little children love that. <laughs> so now we're into green and we're into tops. So this is Gresham Tops. The takeoff pound sensibly offers tools and programs for healthy living and weight management. You can find their affordable meeting every Friday from 7.30 to 9 a.m. at Fairlawn Community Center on Kane. And Pre B is the, probably their leader, and they have 12 people in this that are all working to get healthy. And thank you so much. I love that. Gresham Tops. Tops, take off pounds no, sensibly. sensibly. Uh -huh. Wonderful. Keep up the great work. I think and, that's uh, and part of that will be the 1.1 uh, mile walk that they're getting today. <laughs> well, I don't think they'll be doing anything else after they get done with this today. So I want to briefly brag about our community for a moment, Carol, because sure. last weekend on Saturday, we yes. honored Mr. Gresham by unveiling the statue yes. of Todd Kernan. He's a local delivery guy that uh, makes his way right. throughout town. Everybody knows Todd and Gresham, but this town showed up in, in like full force. And it oh was amazing. My goodness. And it even made CBS Evening News with Steve Hartman on yes, the road. Yes, it did. Uh, it just shows that Gresham is such a caring community. And this teddy bear parade is what's great about Gresham as well. Well, and we have several things throughout the summer that are down here that are so wonderful. You know, there's always, an, I always said when I was at the chamber, there's no reason to go anywhere else other than here for activities. Yep. So we're at Highland. Speaking of here, Highland Elementary School right here. They're a K through five school in Gresham Barlow School District. Parent Teacher Club supports educational needs of about 500 students and their hardworking teachers. Together, the Highland staff and PTC strive to create a stronger community for our diverse families. <laughs> Go Highland Huskies. Great to see you out here. Shonda Sewell, the Highland principal, and May Hawkins, the PTC president. Thanks for being on out here and appreciate all you're doing. All right, how about that? Highland Huskies PTC, another group involved in their school in the lives of your children beyond Amen. just what happens at home. Good for you. The, oh, hi. <laughs> so Stormtrooper bears. Yeah, yeah. Nice. Very cool. Captain America. So I venture to say that probably 75% of these kids, <clears throat> when they go home, will be taking naps today. Oh, I'm sure. Uh, the, uh, the other group will be going to... You know, softball and soccer. Soccer and, and all, all of their... Then they'll take naps later. Yep. So now we have Clackamas County Bank, which also is a member's choice sponsor. So Clackamas County Bank was established in 1911 and is the oldest community bank in Oregon. It continues to serve the community with four locations in Sandy, Welch's, Boring, and Gresham. They take pride in exceptional customer service and giving back to the community. Brian York is, is walking with them today. So they have bicycles, tricycles, and wagons, and they have five to 15 people participating. That's great. Now, Carol, I want to pass it to you because this next, yes. this next is our Live Your Dream Award. So winner. our Live Your Dream is one of the programs that we do throughout the year. And uh, this is where we get scholarships. So Jasmine Akala is our Live Your Dream 2018, and she uh, is 
first place. And so while working a full-time job, being a legal guardian for her eight-year-old nephew, she continues her education at Warner Pacific College. Her goal is to receive a Bachelor of Science Accounting degree. Oh my, look at that. Wow, very nice. And the Northwest Convertible Club uh, in, in uh, Jasmine's driving in a 92 Cadillac Alante. That's kind of yeah. cool. And uh, Northwest Convertible Club, they're out there, folks. You want to join them. That's a beautiful car. Now the Gresham Barlow School District is making their way, and they're riding in Gresham Ford. Uh, they serve more than 11,000 students in 18 schools. School board member John Hartsock riding in the vehicle oh, graciously donated yeah. by Gresham Ford. Uh, there are also students, principals marching for their schools. They've also got the Gresham High School second line, Gresham High School's New Orleans style marching band, and Gresham High School cheerleaders and the dance team. Wow. All right, and there's East Gresham. My goodness. That's they, great. Dexter McCarty. Tardy. Both schools they I went all, to. Yeah. My alma maters. I went to East Gresham. I went to Dexter McCarty. I went to Gresham High. Love it. Nice. My goodness. Look at all of this. Kids went to West Orient. Very cool. Oh, there we are. Principal Katniss, good to see you. You're looking lovely as ever. Hello, hello. Yeah, West Gresham o. High School. How Fine. are you? Oh, there's the Gophers. Yep. They were here last Saturday, weren't they? Last yes, Saturday, they, they were. Out. They yeah. got us kicked off. Yeah, that's what I thought. That's wonderful. Let's listen to the music for just a minute. The rhythm is. Good ends. morning, Miss Griffin. <laughs> so this is the Gresham High School second line, New Orleans style marching band. Take it all in, folks. Oh, certainly I can't stop when the cameras are here. No. <laughs> and there so, they go. Yeah, so the next group we have are the Gresham High School Theater. And they, they are putting on a program right now that uh, it, it's called some murder. What Magical murder. Magical murder. Yes. And Sarah Dempsey is holding it. And they have 20 people that are walking. And I've attended some of those plays that they've had at these high schools, and they are absolutely wonderful. Yeah. I can tell you that. That's great. Well, it's so fun, you know, when you, you just see, I, I don't know, Carol, you've been in this community forever as well. And, yes. And, and we see so many friends and so many families and I people know. that we see and know. And, and that, that we've met it throughout the years. And some folks we just met through the parade. And, and I see it once a year. And it's just kind of cool. That's okay. They respond. It's, it's so reconnecting. Fun. It's just really super neat. Oh, oh here's, there we go. Here's our big one right here. Hello, hello. Met oh, look at this. Media. Oh, my. Oh, my goodness. Now I can't do that. I can well, tell you that. <laughs> don't say that. You have yet to learn. <laughs> I would like this young woman to teach me. Wow. That was good. This is amazing. That's, that's okay. That is so cool. Now let's let's watch it for just a second. A little bit of pressure. Uh, yep. East Can't Metro Community Media, they're the community uh, media center. They teach people from 10 through 95 how to create media for television, film, or the internet. Metro East staff creates shows for broadcast on their six local cable TV channels. And we're so lucky to have them. So next we have Clear Creek Preschool. And it's an affordable, faith-based um, school for children three to five years old. The children learn their letters, colors, shapes, and basic sign language from there. They also enjoy Bible studies and music time every day. And Rosemary Gibson is their leader today with 30 people. Wonderful. Oh, we've got bubbles coming up here. Oh, yes. Nothing brings out joy like a bubble gun. That's so awesome. Yep. So now we have Gresham Memorial Chapel, and I see John sitting right across from us over here. Oh, this is cool. Yeah, isn't that cool? Oh, my goodness. That is a neat little car. Family-owned funeral home. Their motto, our family serving yours, John Gerbish, Andrea Gerbish, and I want to know more about that little truck. That is darling. Yes. It's they, motorized. Yeah, I know. Yes, it's not a pedal car. That's motorized. That's they, very cool. And they also are always helping in the community. We're so grateful for them. Yes, absolutely. So next we have our purple group is Warren Allen, and they are one of our main sponsors. And Warren Allen LLP has sponsored the pur purple group for six years. Warren Allen is a full-service law firm and has been serving our, 
our community for 35 plus years. They believe in combining experience and knowledge with individualized attention and prompt service. Warren Allen is a firm to rely on when you are in need of legal representation. That's pretty cool. So a couple of things we talked about, 35th annual Teddy Bear Parade. If yes. you're watching this at home, it's yes. we're right here downtown Gresham having a blast. 41 years as a club has been the Sirotomus International Gresham and yes. 100 years celebrating 100 years Sirotomus in 2021. So Pities in Pink, don't we love that group? That is, that is fun. <laughs> That's the Multnomah County Animal Services. Uh, they are the shelter of the county's lost, abandoned, and homeless animals. Pities in Pink float today features volunteers and their adopted pit bulls from the Multnomah County Animal Shelter. Float focused on the dog's intelligent, loving, and loyal nature. Dogs wear pink to soften their image. Visit the shelter's website at multcopets.org. Pities in pink. Look that, at those beautiful dogs. And that's a neat float. How cute is that? That is darling. So I was talking with Dr. Chris this morning about how people are so, in, in Oregon, we take care of our animals. We take care of our dogs and our cats. And, we, and in California, they don't do as well as we do here. So we're very fortunate we have the vets that we do. Oh, we have Lori Monis Anderson. And speaking of fortunate, here's our senator, Lori Monis Anderson. Uh, East County, a state senator. She has chaired the health care committee, vice chaired the veterans committee, both for 14 years. She's a local graduate at Gresham High School, and uh, as are all her children, and she's also been a nurse for 38 years. Senator, thank you for coming on out. So and, uh, and thank you, Al, for sharing your car, the Baby Blue 66 Ford Galaxy 500 Convertible Pacific Northwest Convertible Club. So it was one of my jobs this year was to take these classic cars and place them with our dignitaries. And that was kind of fun because they're all very different. <laughs> oh, there's Cha-Cha the Clown. Speaking of different, let's get one of our counselors on this little <laughs> ride here. Cha-Cha uh, the Clown, community helper bringing joy to events like school carnivals, preschool shows, and birthday parties. She wants us to remember that play and laughter is an important part of life that keeps us all healthy. Find her on Facebook and website www.chachatheclown. So now we have Troop 664 Boy Scouts of America. I have to say, this is with Sally P Palmatier and uh, Stephanie Frank. The Boy Scouts of America is the nation's foremost youth program of character development training. They, th that troop is a wonderful troop. They help us in everything in the parade. I can't say enough about yes, them. Yes, they do. And here's Gresham Kinder Care. They provide quality child care and early learning programs. A great early childhood education counts. Children who attend kinder care are ahead of their peers when they enter kindergarten, and they're very proud of that. Jenny Perry, thanks for putting that together for Gresham Kinder Care. Absolutely. So now we have some more. This must be part of the kinder care that's still coming here. We'll so know got here a wagon. Shortly. That's great. <laughs> got a Pontiac Firebird convertible. That's great, too. Yeah. Little princess oh, in the wagon. Oh, look at that. Isn't that sweet? Good morning, princess. Oh, and look at the little puppy. Very <laughs> so nice. Sweet. So here we have this. Is this Hogan Cedars? No, I don't think This so. is still kinder care. Yeah, and I'm assuming that might Boy, be Jenny Perry. I'm not sure. That is a nice car, too. That's beautiful. Absolutely. Greg, you're into cars, and we know what you do with your father. So you're... You're, I'm glad to have you sitting with me because I'm not into them. I'm, I'm also into the uh, Hogan Cedars Hawks. There They're you go. They're a fun, energetic, thriving school. They're determined to build a better community by following their motto, be respectful, be responsible, be safe, be a hawk. Go Hawks, go. Chris Baker, thanks for putting it together. 60 to 80 people involved with this group. That's wonderful. Oh, yeah. A little song, be respectful, be responsible, be safe, and be a hawk. All my kids went through Hogan Cedars. Oh, did we they? We love it. There's Principal Lautenbach right there. Very good. Thank you. Good to see you. I love that everybody participates. That is so neat. Very cool. Good to see you. How you doing, Rick? All right. Great to have Hogan Cedars Hawks out here. Full force. Wonderful to see them. That's their teachers, their principal, the PTC. Great work. Be a hawk. Oh, my. This is something. This is the uh, Portland Police Bureau Museum. Oh, my. Do you see that? The Portland Police Museum entry is driving a 1950 real touring car that was a police vehicle in California in 1915. It has a Portland uh, police insignia on the vehicle. The museum is preserving the history of policing. Riding today are two retired Portland Police Bureau officers and one sergeant. 
<laughs> and Gerald Klinger is part of that. Boy, that is gorgeous, isn't it? Thank you for your service, officers. Appreciate that. We want to know what she did in the back. We don't want to prosecute her just quite yet, but we'd like to know. <laughs> So, do you see what we have coming down here? You oh, have to look yes. down. Look at that. This will certainly be a crowd favorite, and I know, I knew he had this. I'm so excited he's here today. This is Terry Hansen. So, Terry, uh, with two Yorkies. Look at that. This is Teddy and Bear. So, Teddy's 10 and Bear is 4. They love to ride in their little Hummer. Uh, they've been in the little race boats as well. So, how cool is that? Good to see you, Terry Hansen. The dogs weigh about 5 pounds each. In case you're wondering if you would fit in that vehicle. That is darling. That's cool. That's so really neat. Now we have the phonics factory. And the phonics factory helps raise respectful children by providing excellence in Christian education. Marching today are the preschools, our preschool to third grade students with their parents. Our girls volleyball team is leading the group. And Monica Barham is one of the participants today and they have over a hundred people. Wonderful. There they are. There you go. Good are. morning, Phonics Factory. Great to see you. Meyer Christian Schools, and thank you to the Meyer Christian Schools. You notice all the bikes and all the scooters have helmets. Yes, they are. They're very safe. Yep, that Safety is superb. First. That's wonderful. What a great group. See, there's a man conflicted. He has Gresham Barlow baseball, but he's with his group here. <laughs> That's what happens. Well, you know, we have one in Gresham with Doug Walker. Have you ever seen Doug Walker on game day? Oh, yeah. yeah. He's, got, he's got Oregon and Oregon State. Yeah. I mean, it's, it's kind of fun. Absolutely. This is wonderful. Wow, they've got a big group, don't they? They sure do. Good for them. Well, well, and they have a little ways to go. They probably, by the time they get here, are halfway through the parade. And so they have a little ways to go to finish it yet. Oh, sure. But the weather is so perfect, we can't complain. That's a great group. Wonderful to see them out. Every little girl and little boy sometime in their life wants to be in a parade. And we have generations that are participating in our parade from parents, grandparents, and now here we are down to children and grandchildren. Yes. That is wonderful. You know, a lot of development in our town going on and a lot of things are changing. We're getting new neighborhoods. If you drive oh out my. near Hogan Cedars, we have a lot of homes going on there. So. There's a lot of uh, things for our community to learn. Oh, look at this cool thing. Oh, what is that? Well, that they're is from fun. Revolution Parkour Gresham. They provide professional instruction of parkour and free running in a safe, friendly environment. Parkour is for everybody. Fun, great exercise. Come in for a free beginner class of parkour. But that thing is really, really cool. I've never seen one of those before. I've not either. Watch this. Whoa, what just happened? Whoa, whoa. Wow, that's well done. Very well done. Imagine doing that all through Main Street Park. That's what they'll teach you how to do. <laughs> That's what they'll teach you. So they're located, I believe, over by Elmer's, and I, they've got a little setup inside, and they can teach you oh. how to jump over tables and benches and chairs and just kind of make exercise fun for kids. Oh. Parkour is really taking off. Uh, it's really a lot of fun. It is best, if you're going to get your children involved in it, that you learn to do it safely. Uh, Good. Watching somebody do what this young man just did with a flip in the middle of the yes. street. To try that on your own without any supervision, no. <laughs> not a great idea. Pass. But please wear a helmet. Yes. So, again, we want to uh, talk about Metro East. They are serving us today by filming this, and they uh, serve as our audio and visual sponsors, providing filming of the parade and subsequent presentation of the parade at our local television station. Family of Friends Mentoring. They match volunteer mentors with elementary age kids. Family of Friends. Uh, they do simple, fun activities together, build long-lasting friendships. Their mission is to build relationships that elevate kids and families and make our community stronger. Family of friends. Thank you, Michelle Costa, our singer of the Gresham song. Oh, that is a wonderful song. It is. So you mentioned, uh, obviously, I want to I want to mention e uh, Metro East yes. Community Media as well. Please do. So what we have is a little flyer here, folks, and you can get all this information online at metroeast.org. But there is media training available, and the truth is the training can be expensive, up to about $2,000 or more. But for $25, you get a free orientation, $25 all-class pass with unlimited workshops for a whole year. $25 what for a whole bargain. year. What a bargain. What a bargain. And folks, that's available to you. And again, I, I believe it's 10 through, I think Whatever. 135 yeah. years old is the limit. Yeah. I think yeah. once you hit 135, they, they don't allow you to touch the equipment. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, it just gets dangerous. So here we have Hall Elementary School. And Hall Elementary School is a vibrant group of students, staff, and families 
representing Northeast Gresham neighborhoods. There are over 450 students at Hall. So there are 20 plus people today, and Corey Sexton is the one that's leading them off today. That's great. Very cool. The Hedgehogs. Excellent. Yep. How are you doing? So we have another very, very large group coming up. You know, that's what's so neat about this parade. We have small, we have individuals, we have large groups. It's just everybody that wants to participate in a parade can at this time of year in Gresham through the Seroptimist. Absolutely. So now we have Mount Hood Dance Academy. Mount Hood Dance Academy provides dance education for people from two years to adults. The students come in as young children and leave as responsible adults. They, uh, they are known for their tap, jazz, lyrical, <laughs> Greg's dancing, and I'm musical trying. theater tech training. Brittany Cruz is, a is their lead today, and they have 40 people here today. <laughs> I'm trying to keep up with the moves. I got more moves than you, Hall, folks. I just can't do it. And we're going to be going down the street. <laughs> oh, my that. goodness. <laughs> All right. The group continued. Is that what we're doing? I believe so, I yes. believe so, too. That's a pretty car, too. Oh, I love seeing these old cars. Bring them on out, folks. That's really cool. So for, and Greg, you're, you're spending some time at Matthew's I am down classy. there at memory lane at 26 and Holgate. Yep, and that's why you're familiar with oh, all of this. Oh, a little Pontiac Star Chief. That's a cool car, too. Love it. Very nice. Yeah, it's fun. Corvettes, a little of everything. As they say, a dog from every village. But, you know, I just, I just love classic cars. There's Ken Cahill driving a Corvette right there. So Ken's always got something cool. I, Does I, he? As long as I've known this guy, he's always got something cool. He's always driving through this town and something cool. Something really it's cool. It's a Jaguar. It's a Corvette. It's just something. The top usually flops. If not, it's got a top removable hard top. Yeah, good for you, Ken. Great to see you. Hope all's well. You bet. That's a wonderful group. Mounted Dance Academy looking sharp. Good for them. Okay, so now we have Party Surprise. So Party Surprise is a locally owned party store which not only specializes in balloons, which we have here today, Greg. Nice. And columns and arches with, made from balloons. They love to make a difference. And uh, they have two people here today. And I must say they are a new company, a new store in Gresham. And we so appreciate them providing these for us today. It all adds to our our uh, ambiance of our parade. That's awesome. I got a little dab, that's awesome. And on camera. So, Greg, do you wanna, you wanna start with Betty and then I will end with Betty. This is Betty Chisholm. Oh my gosh. So she's in the uh, Sir Optimus Club's treasured member, Betty Chisholm. Been a member for over 27 years. She's so social around the city of Gresham. Always meeting new women and bringing them to the Sir Optimus meeting. I love uh, Betty Chisholm. There you she should is. too, in a 72 Cadillac Eldorado convertible. She's our honored member. Every year we honor a different member, and this year it's Betty, and that's her daughter riding with her. That's wonderful. And cheering her on is Corbett Cheer Club. They're the yes. youth sideline cheer group based from Corbett, Oregon, athletes K through high school. They teach leadership, teamwork, while having fun and making friends, serving all school districts. Thank you so much. I believe Sandra Romake, thank you so much. And Betty Chisholm, she is truly a, oh. a, a treasured woman. She's I, an icon in oh. Gresham. Love her. And she's involved in everything. She's kind of knows the history of everything, and she's just invaluable to us as a, as a club and as my good friend. Absolutely. So we have Gresham Arthur Academy, which is a K-5 through public <laughs> charter school in the Gresham Barlow School District. They help reach their potential by paying attention, working hard, getting smart, and being proud. Ch Shannon Chisholm is walking with them. And that's pretty neat to be able to ride in that and go up and down. Isn't yeah. that cool? <laughs> Hi, there we go. No. <laughs> that is Nothing says safety like uh, yep. Lauren raising a dump truck full of kids. <laughs> All right. They That's do a lot of cool. great work, though. Yep. They, they're very involved, and Shannon Chisholm was part of that. Oh, Shannon's she's, very involved in the community, and her and Danny, uh, and their daughter. So Rockwood Preparatory Academy, they're a K-6 through grade charter school within Reynolds School District. They're on a 14-acre campus in the heart of Rockwood. They educate and nurture children using rigorous instruction so the students feel successful. Rockwood Preparatory Academy, John Nelson, Ariel Hammond, welcome to the Teddy Bear Parade, and thanks for joining us today. And they have 50 to 100 people here today. Yes, they do. That's excellent. <laughs> look oh, at this and dog. Puppy, and puppies. <laughs> look at this dog in a bear costume. Yes, if look that's at that. not just cute. 
That yeah. is all like that. That's pretty good. <laughs> oh, that is sweet. What's up, dog? Yeah, I feel you. <laughs> and here's one that said, I'm tired. I'm, Dad, just carry me. Yeah, I'm tired. Yeah, exactly. Very good. Great to have them. And yeah. I believe this is a first time entry for us. I think so, yes. That's great. When I was up at the uh, check in, check in table for all of these, because they have to check in when they first come every day. and. She said Rockwood Preparatory, and I, it didn't register, but it is a fairly new art, or, uh, academy in Gresham. Yeah. Oh, so here we are, Metro Council Shirley Craddock, and she rep represents District 1, and she is writing, she is writing on a red 76 Cadillac Eldorado. Oh, I love it. Her driver is Tom Durango, and it's from Northwest Convertible Club. Did you see the horns on the front? Yes. And the, the guns on the handles. That's just awesome. Well done. And thank you for your service, Shirley Craddock. Amen. This Eastside Theater Company, I believe. So they provide quality theater for kids 4 through 18 years of age. The company has just partnered with East Hill Church and will be performing Schoolhouse Rock live November 1st through the 10th. Thank you, Jaylene Dick, Eastside Theater Company. It's pretty cool. Yeah. So next we have the kids' clips. Kids Clips is a hair salon which provides a safe and fun haircut experience for children under 12 years of age. They have fun chairs, cartoons, popcorn, and more. I think I'll go there. Parents can make appointments or walk in. Tiffany uh, Barker is in charge of this, and they have about five to 10 people. Oh, and they got bubbles. <laughs> that's great. And they have a fire engine. Yeah, that's pretty cool. So today we've seen white, red, and green fire engines. And do you know why they why there are different colors? No, oh, that's why I'm asking, yeah. And a I lot of folks might wonder this. So the red fire engine is red because it's painted that color. The white one's painted white and the yellow <laughs> is yellow. <laughs> Come that on. That is why they're different colors, I promise you. We get that question all the time, and I'm not kidding you. People say, why, why is there a red fire engine and that one's yellow? And I say, because they painted they that paint one yellow. But I thought they maybe had a des different designation no. of what they do in the service of the fire department. Now, but you are correct in assuming that with fire hydrants. They are painted the color with interior, exterior hydrants and flows per minute with gallons. So, so you're right. You're right. First student coming through. So first student, school bus drivers and monitors, they're an elite team of highly trained professionals committed, uh, committed to safely delivering your students to and from school. As local familiar faces living in this community, the drivers are dedicated to providing the highest level of service to the Gresham Barlow students. First student, thank you, Susan Clark, for putting this together. Now, if you miss the bus, you might be able to ride that dog. <laughs> My goodness. That boy, he's raring oh, to go. Yeah, he's ready. What yeah. A beautiful animal. And here they come. So. This bus says Henry on it. Yeah, it does. So this must be first student school bus drivers and monitors are an elite team of highly trained professional committee to safely deliver your students to and from school, which they do do. As local familiar faces that live in this community, our drivers are dedicated to providing the highest levels of service to our Gresham Barlow students. And Susan Clark is the lead on this today, and they're going to have 15 to 20 students in this, but I think they got a little bit more than that. Yeah, and they're on the bus. Yeah, there they Great go. To see you. Yeah. Hey, what's there happening, Chris? Yeah. There we go. <laughs> Nicely done. Chris Wiley on the bus. Yes, I see that. Going back to school, maybe. So now we have Bateman Carroll Funeral Home, where they are. Cel uh, Bateman Carroll Funeral celebrates life with dedication, excellence, and innovation in the community. They have provided celebration of life services and cremation since 1931. Always with dignity and honor, Jim Jackson is their manager, and they have about five people here today. And a beautiful 57 Chevy and being cheered on by our Centennial Youth Cheer, which we're going to talk yes. about. Yes, So the youth program supports Centennial Youth Football Association. They cheer on the sidelines at the football games. The cheer group ranges from ages uh, from first to eighth grade, teaching basic cheerleading skills. Get your kids involved, Gresham Centennial uh, Youth Cheer. So Centennial Youth Cheer, and thanks, Angie Darby, for putting that together. Amen. Kiwanis. Wow, Columbia's, Kiwanis of the Columbia Gorge, Trotdale and Corbett, they are a global organization of volunteers dedicated to changing the work, one child and one community at, to, at a time. High school youth learn leadership skills in the Key Club at Corbett and Reynolds High School. Scholarships are also given out. The Kiwanis Club is active in raising funds for children's cancer treatment and research. Wow, Backpack Buddies, Trotdale, Summer Fest and more. 
John Owens, Sam Owens, and Micah Orlov are walking with them. And they had 15 to 25 people. Oh, we have a little short legs here coming. See the little bike? Oh, yeah. That brings back memories. I used to have a tricycle a lot like that one. Did you really? Well, it was called a big wheel back then. That's right. And uh, they were orange, yellow, and uh, blue pedals. And uh, yeah. I Let's remember just say that. the front wheels usually gave out first because you're power sliding that thing in every corner. But oh, his legs are going to be tired by the end of this He's ready, spring. though. He's ready. Yeah. Still in the Kiwanis group, so very, very good. 51 flag stars. Yeah, nice. Yes. And again, 35th annual Teddy Bear Parade put on by the Sir Roger Center National Gresham. Couldn't do this without our local business donors. Amen. Uh, there are so many. Our sponsors for the event, you've been hearing their names as well. So we have the American Heritage Girls from Troutdale. It is a faith-based leadership and character focused on scouting organization for girls in grade K through 12. Girls can learn, earn merit badges, which are developed for the girls' age level. There are additional outdoor experiences, spiritual and social opportunities for these girls. And they do special service projects to help these young girls grow into women of integrity. Thank goodness. Thank you. Jackie Valquez is a troop leader, and they have a lot of marchers with them today. That's great. I'm glad they're working, starting with them all early. This is so special. That is great. Now, is this their first year Look in the parade? I believe so, because yep. I don't remember reading this before. And they're all ready to roll. But see, this is what is so neat. You don't have to be here forever to be involved in our parade. You can be here for just brand new, like the party place is, or here for many, many years and still be involved. It's been going 35 years. Yep. A lot of folks uh, weren't here on year one, but uh, they've right. joined since, and it's great to have them. So here comes Avermeer <laughs> at Chestnut Lane. So they're an assisted living location for deaf and deaf blind seniors. These seniors' lives are enriched daily at Chestnut Lane. Right. So thank you, Avermeer at Chestnut Lane. I've been there, hello, and it's hello. a wonderful facility. Hello, hello, hello. It is. So we've had our share of dogs today, which has really been nice, and they've been very well-behaved dogs today. Exactly. This is more Avamir, I believe. <laughs> yes, it is. Uh huh. Well, they decorated that all up. That's nice. That looks great. Yes, it sure does. Very cool. And this is a... I believe that's still part of uh, part of our group. <laughs> Chestnut Lane. Boy, it's got a horn and a half. Yes, they do. There we are. Hello, hello, hello. <laughs> Princesses in the back. Absolutely. We have royalty beautiful. among us. Beautiful, beautiful color. That is great. So I believe this is Carla Peluso's car. I'm uh, I'm assuming you might be correct. That's right. She's yeah. just uh, yeah. she, a little bit behind us here. Yeah. Carla Peluso is is proud to serve as Gresham State Representative. She has been serving Gresham for over 40 years as, as our former uh, police chief. She worked her way up through the police force to become the first woman police chief. Carla has also been on the Gresham Barlow School Board and she is accompanied here today by a strong group of supporters and uh, excuse me, her is Enzo Klingman, which is her campaign staff. Very that's, good. That's Got quite the car. Horn on it. Yeah. Yes, indeed. That, that, oh, remember the... 79 see? Chevy El Camino. Yeah, that is pretty. Good morning, Honorable Representative. How are you? And former police chief, good to see you. That looks nice. Oh, yeah. I Wonderful. wouldn't take that out in the rain. So, we are in the Pathfinders. Yes. The Pathfinders Network provides justice system, impacted individuals and families the tools and support they need to thrive in their communities. The network envisions a community that welcomes all people, provides second chance, and creates pathways to change. And they have eight to 10 people. Oh, there's Hennington Storage. They are, and Bonaventure, they are also sponsors. Yes. Bonaventure is new this year. They're retirement uh, in Gresham up on Stark Street, and they provide independent living, assisted living, and memory care. And Anna Garcia is involved with this today, and they are brand new. And I was up there the other day, and that's a beautiful facility also. I got to watch it because one of these days they're going to keep me in one of these things. Well, and you <laughs> mentioned Hennison Cold Storage. They've been a teddy bear parade sponsor for several yes, years. Thank yes, you, Hennison Storage. One of the largest public refrigerated warehousing companies in the country right here 
One of their divisions located here in Gresham at 194 in Santa Fe. Right. Hey, Sam Barlow High School, how about them Bruins? Take it. Huh? Take it, Greg. Oh, they've got their principal driving the rig. That's great. Bruce Schmidt, good to see you out here. Sam Barlow High School mission, every student prepared for success. Their award-winning jazz band director, Paul Nicholas, featured in the truck and the trailer driven by our principal, Bruce Schmidt. Varsity cheerleaders with Coach Brandy Seibel and the Brunettes dance team with Coach April Anderson again here in the parade. Marlowe's Theater Department here to promote the fall musical Mamma Mia. Take it away. Take it away. Oh, they've got the cameras on them. Don't stop now. You're right in front of the cameras. Play something. There you go. Go Barlow. Boy, that's a that's a lot. That's great. Do you have a daughter in here? I I don't. She's playing for Barlow Varsity Volleyball right now. Oh, They're okay. In a tournament. Oh, okay. And I have two other daughters that are basically let's just say they're characters. <laughs> well, you got a lovely family. You, you really do. Barlow Youth Cheer. Uh, so third to eighth grade, they cheer at the Barlow football games and Barlow high school events. Go Bruins! Barlow Youth Cheer. That's awesome. And more Mama Mia from Sam Barlow. Wow, Barlow came out in full force today. Boy, they did, didn't That's they? That's outstanding. Nice. Oh. I love that movie. Well, they sound good. They, they yeah, sound they good. do. They do. I don't know when that Mamma Mia plays, but it's their fall musical. And if you've not been to a high school musical, oh. let me just tell you, it's time to go. They now, are wonderful. Yeah, uh-oh. What's going oh on here? Oh my, we got some roller derby people here. Oh. Junior roller derby, small nonprofit roller derby speed skating club. Ages eight through 17, they can skate and stop. Their goal is provide a family friendly team sport, encouraging hard work, collaboration and technique. Promotes youth leaders as the older children coach the younger and newer skaters. Looking for practice space given the skate world, Gracious Host is currently closing. Portland Junior Roller Derby, go get them. Looking good. Thank you Debbie Powers putting that together. Wow. So this is uh, Mayor Alan Cox. Oh, Alan Cox is running for mayor of Gresham. He hopes to bring more transparency to the <laughs> office. And that's quite the vehicle. That is. And so we are at Reynolds Oregon School Employees Association. The Reynolds Oregon School Employees Association are the bus drivers, the secretaries, educational assistants, custodians, cooks, student management staff and grounds maintenance and they're all with Reynolds High School. It takes a lot to make a school work. It certainly does. And here comes Salt Academy, a performing arts company. Their mission to provide East County with excellent instruction in dance, theater, vocals and music at a reasonable cost. The students perform at various community functions and events. They love the Gresham community and look forward to serving here for many years to come. Well, I know Harvest Mormon does a wonderful yes. job with this group, Salt Academy and Performing Arts. Her and her husband have this incredible studio, but they also have a lot of mentorship from these older kids that actually show these young show kids the, the young way. ones. Well, and they participated last Saturday, too, didn't they? And there's Miss Harvest right there. They there did. she is, yes. They performed with Todd. They did a little dance yes, to they routine did. with Todd. They taught him to dance, and uh, they're also at our talent show that we do uh, each year. That's right. Uh, you can count on seeing them a number of times at several different events throughout the year. Well, there again, that's just another one of the businesses that contributes to what happens in Gresham and makes us the city that we really are. So this is Joe Swift State Farm Agency. The Joe Swift uh, Agency helps people manage the risk of everyday life, recover from the unexpected, and realize their dreams. Joe was born and raised in the Gresham area. He's a third generation State Farm agent. Joe and his team strive to be your best choice for your insurance and financial needs. And Joe Swift is leading this today with a number of people. And I think We've used, his dad's been in the parade before. Oh, sure. Pat's been around yeah, and better, Joe's yeah. out there as well. You'll see Joe on a billboard too. He's out there out and about doing great work. Thank you, Joe Swift State Farm. And what a great display out here today. Yes, that's great. The gals carrying the go. banner got a little, uh, a little surprised the cameras were on them, but uh, good for them. And thanks <laughs> for being out here. Joe Swift, welcome, welcome, welcome. Great to see you State Farm. And thanks for participating again in Amen. the Bear Parade. Yes, absolutely. So we have my father's house. Now, both you and I are very familiar with my father's house. Yes, we are. And they serve a lot of homeless families in the Gresham area, and they give families help and not a handout. So they help them to prepare to go back out into the world, uh, buy housing, get a job, education. 
Yes. So I can't say enough nice things about uh, my father's house. Tiffany Keaton is their lead today, and they have 30 people that are in this parade. Oh, we're so little here. We've got to wait. You can look them up at familyshelter.org for more information. Familyshelter.org. So this is the Regal Majesty Pageant. This was started to empower girls and women with a focus on volunteering in different programs in the community. The 2018-19 Regal Majesty National Baby is, is it Jedi Driver? What a beautiful little, my Isn't goodness. Isn't she something? She is beautiful. Great to see you, Your Majesty. She's riding today with her Aunt Shayla Montgomery. She was Miss Portland 2019. Thank wow. you, Sheila. So now we have Wes Grisham, grade school, Wes Grisham proudly celebrates her 95th birthday in 2018. The school serves to educate, enrich, and enhance students in the Gresham community. It was the only grade school in Gresham until 1950. In the 1930s, it had its own skating rink. I didn't know that. Go Wildcats! Lori Walker is a principal. Amy Fugero is their PTC president, and they have about 40 people here today with a, parade, with a float. Great to be out here. Wes Gresham, great to see you. And Miss Walter, thank you. Wonderful, wonderful. Wave. Hello, hello, hello. Great. There's Lori Walter right there sitting on the back of that float. Wonderful. Great to have you out here this morning. Now, I believe we have Gresham Breakfast Lions, Lions Club. Club. They're mm -hmm. the world's largest service organization. They give 100% of funds raised back to the community, primarily to provide testing for sight and hearing. The club also provides glasses and hearing aids for those mm -hmm. unable to afford them. Tom Slider, great to see you this morning. Lions of Oregon has screened over one million school children to detect any site issues. Thanks so much for being here. The Gresham Breakfast Lions, wonderful to see you this morning. So now we're, we're oh, there's, that's beautiful too. Yeah. So now we have Justin Wang coming up. He immigrated to the U.S. in the late 1980s. He obtained citizenship at 18 years of age. Justin has built a chain of highly recognized teriyaki restaurants and believes in the American dream. Justin is also now running for state representative. He has two to four people with him. And then this is Ryan, Ryan Johnson. John, Ryan is also running for uh, a, a city council position in Gresham this time. So we had uh, Newt Bueller for governor was also part of the group. So Justin Wong, Newt for governor, Newt Bueller, and of course, Ryan Johnson for city council. Right. All coming fast and furious right at us as yellow approaches. So we better get to yellow. Classic Floors, the uh, case study insurance with Mark Mabbitt and Restore Hope are all sponsors of the Yellow Group. And the vision of Classic Floors and Tile is to continue as a top quality full service provider in our community. And so now we're going to, oh, we got Santa Claus oh here. Oh my goodness, Santa. Claus. I love you, Santa Claus. It's great to see you. Beautiful. Thanks for all you do, sir. Yes. Yeah, look at this. That is wonderful. This is all part of Restore is Hope still, yes, I believe. Yes, yes. Dedicated to keeping children safe from sex abuse and yes, helping survivors hi. heal. Good for you. Great to see you, Mrs. Claus. Hello, hello. Great to see you. Oh, my gosh. Look at this. All my friends out today. <laughs> Love these and people. And the gorgeous, gorgeous cars. Oh, and there's yeah. a puppy in that one. They must have found the Corvette Club. Uh, uh, I think today. they did. Yes, indeed. Absolutely they did. These are great. They're beautiful. And so uh, Mark Maybot and uh, broker of Case Study Insurance, these local insurance brokerage firms right. serving individuals, businesses, and seniors. What a large group, all for sponsorships. Mm -hmm. Good for them. Uh, we, well, like we said earlier, we would not be able to do any of this parade if we didn't have the sponsorships of all these wonderful, wonderful uh, companies. So and there's true. Mark walking the... Yeah, he's on the line. <laughs> yeah, he's on the line. <laughs> <laughs> I'm so glad that turned out the way it did for you, Mark. So I want to talk just a, a, a bit today, a little bit about some of the in-kind uh, uh, sponsors that we have, and that's East Hill Church, who allows us to go over there and set up. That's where we do our staging. We have Gresham Sanitary Service, who uh, provides us the garbage uh, containers that are around town that they do, and that's in-kind. We have Gresham Chamber of Commerce that helps us with volunteers, and we appreciate them, and Lynn, especially Lynn Snodgrass. And we have the Gresham Outlook who helps us throughout the year with our ads for this and our thank you ads. And we appreciate all of our in-kind sponsors as much as we do the ones that give us uh, financial assistance. And here assistance. comes East County Rising, community-based organization aims to engage, energize, and elevate East Multnomah County. It works to transform governments to better reflect the diverse community and make concrete changes that improve the lives of everyone in East County. 
The team is joined by Eddie Morales, candidate for Gresham City Council. Learn more at eastcountyrising.com. Thank you, Hugh Harris, Lacey Ogan, and Eddie Morales. There you go, Chris Gorsick. There we are, Hello. Representative Gorsick. You, Good sir? to see you, sir. Good, Good to, to see you. you. This is a fairly new organization that has started out in East County, and um, it's nice to have them in our parade today. Yes. So we have Hollydale Elementary School. Hollydale Elementary educates grade schoolers one hero at a time, which I love that. They take great, great pride in teamwork and school spirit. Come join the Parent Teachers Club and be a hero today. Tanya Hamilton is their leader today with about 150 people. And I can believe it. If you look all the way down here, you oh can yes. see all of them. That's great. That is great. And you mentioned in-kind sponsors. And again, uh, early in this parade, we started off with, uh, of course, the Weston Buick Kia GMC. Yes. yes. And I learned not only 43 years of business, but also 125 employees with Weston. Yes. That's amazing. That's huge. And we appreciate <laughs> them so much. And we welcome their new Nissan dealership they're running Amen. as well. Uh, that should be exciting times for Weston. Absolutely. Well, thank you for uh, showing on up and being a part of this. And thank you well, again. Well, this, this uh, classic car that's coming along also is still part of Kelly Creek. And Kelly Creek is, uh, elementary is dedicated to providing quality, nurturing learning environment for students. Their focus is student learning. They use a variety of instructional method methodologies and programs to positively impact student performance. And Bethany Fraze is their leader today with 15 to 30 people in this parade. That's great. Man, we have seen a lot of people today, haven't we? We've seen and a lot of people. Oh. We've seen a lot of cars, a lot of energy out there. We oh, my goodness. That. We had to bottle that. It has been incredible. Oh, well, speaking of incredible. There we are. Hello there. How are you? You look wonderful. That's great. So uh, just for kicks, let's talk about Anderson Martial Arts. All right. You get what I did there? So they've been yes. providing the East <laughs> County area with the finest martial arts and life skills instruction for over three decades. The award-winning skills program designed to help you be the best version of yourself that you can be. Dan Anderson, martial arts. Thank you, Dan Anderson. Again, continued involvement. That's great. Wonderful. Oh my, here we here comes necessary to every parade. Gresham Sanitary Service is one of our in-kind sponsors. Gresham Sanitary Service continues to be family owned and operated since 1948. <laughs> it conti continues the original purpose to pr promptly and professionally exceed the expectations of customers in a fair and cost effective manner. They are wonderful. We so appreciate them, Matt Miller. We just so appreciate them every year. I don't know what we would do if we didn't have, oh, there's the teddy bear, didn't have these in-kind sponsors that we do. And the Miller family's not just involved in this parade. They're involved so much in this community, so heavily involved. It's just Absolutely. wonderful. And Black Bear Diner is right here, and marching along the Black Bear Diner, located right there uh, at Burnside Side, uh -huh. and, and, and Main Street. And Gresham Fire Station 71 yes. making their appearance. Here they are. And uh, they're looking <laughs> they're good, Chris Sliding, Ivy. yeah. <laughs> there he is, Lieutenant Reggie Becker right there, looking good, Ivy. So oh, thankful Brandon for Brandon Guerrero, them. another local yes. kid, done well. That's outstanding. Engine 71 mm -hmm. in the house. Everybody knows Reggie Becker. He's getting more applause than anybody today, I'm sure. Is that right? And then truck 71, and the way this truck can operate, you might be able to catch it on the screen. All six tires can turn, so it can actually crawl diagonally across the road. It's really cool the way they do that. It creeps. It's in creep mode, and that's Pat McCaver, one of our most skilled engineers driving the truck. Lieutenant Hi. Michael Snodgrass, there he is, firefighter Brett Swenson, nicely done. It's, everything truck is 71. so polished, just so clean, everything's so nice. They take great care of their equipment, they take pride and professionalism in all that they do. And here we are, uh, our battalion chief, he's taking, a, he's, he's taking the end spot here, but that's okay, battalion chief, and I believe it's Eric Lofgren today. And there he is, Chief Lofgren. Thanks for putting it together and bringing the guys out. Uh, Gresham Fire Department, proud of the organization. Great men and women that serve this community in our police and fire departments and all around this community, Carol. Yeah. Thank you, Greg. Thank you for another Thank wonderful you. parade. Our weather uh, was wonderful. The crowd was wonderful. All the participants. Another successful parade. I Thank would say you so, so much. And, and thanks to East Metro Community Media, but also just understand 
you saw over 90 floats. We saw over yes, 2,000 folks. We yes, had we the did. streets lined with hundreds, if not thousands of people. And it all happened right down here today. On the last Saturday of September, there. smack dab in the middle of Main Street, Gresham Morgan, USA. Yep. And we look forward to seeing you next year. In 2019, 2019, right here. 2019, right here. Last Saturday of the month of September. Absolutely. We'll see you soon. And thanks for tuning in. Thank Carol, you, Carol, it's been a pleasure. Thank you to the Shirokmas. Thank you. Good day, everybody. Bye-bye.